Well, we've set the moth trap for tonight. It's a cool, cool night. And tomorrow morning, very early, we're gonna get up and count moths. You can see there's moths already going down in there. Ooh, the light's doing a funny flicky thing. Anyway, that is going to attract the moths and then we'll count them and see. But it's a very, very cool night. It's very cool. So I doubt we're going to get too many. There's lots of flowers over here. The daisies and evening primroses. You can see the yellow of the evening primroses. Moths love them. But the important part are these long grasses. So the moths overnight in these long grasses. And so hopefully they'll fly down and get trapped. They don't get harmed. And then we look them, look at them, assess them, count them, and release them tomorrow morning, very early in the morning. So, hot dogs running after foxes. Beautiful. Cinnabar moths. Look at that. Come on. Then you can go in there. Oop. Species, it's a new one so for that's me. A, I think that's it's a, a carpet moth? A carpet, yeah. There's a, there's a number of different uh, And then species. there's a cinnabar moth cinnabar, here. Yeah. Oh, and there's a buff ermine. This is a different. Oh, they're beautiful, I'm just aren't they? Take a photograph so I have a record of it first. Oh, and here's another one. Look, right here. Yeah, no, I have those. That's oh, you have that one. one. There's two ermines, and this is the buff ermine. You see that they're Where is it? same <gasps> shape but different color. Beautiful. Here, I'll so put that's that. a white ermine and a buff ermine. I'll we'll just take a, a record uh, of that. Oh, hold on. That's fine. Okay, super. And then who's this right here? That's a pepper moth. That's a pepper moth. No, that's super. If you put those back into I'm foliage. I'm gonna put those into the grass. Fine, yeah. Cool. Come on. They don't want to let go. You're clinging on for dear life, aren't you? The pepper moth. There we go. Let's try this one on my left hand. That is a yeah. heart, heart. Oh, because you can see the hearts yeah. and darts. Right, yeah. And this one is? Uh, we'll have to check that out. Okay. So we can put those out on the grass. There's Oh, and look, there's another. This is an ermine, isn't it? Yeah. They're beautiful. Releasing these guys. No, no, don't crawl up my sleeve. There we go. Into the grassland. Bug. Knee cock, bug. Cock, cock chamber. Cock, 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 cock yeah, look at chamber. that. Yeah. They're big. They are. Okay, let's see what goodies. Oh, I know. I can't wait to see always. what goodies there are. <clears throat> I'm going to move on this side. We have a garden tiger, at least. Where's the garden tiger? <gasps> oh, look, they're beautiful. That's one of the large ones. So, no. who's this? Yeah, With no. the, isn't that the spectacle? Is that the spectacle? No. What's, if, I'm, I'm not too sure underneath. is the short answer. There'll be a lot of this. So that okay, no, that's I'm okay. Sure. That's okay. So the good thing is we can take a photograph and... Um, Identified. You 
that's a, talking. That's a buff tip, I think, or it's an odd-looking buff tip. But... It looks like a cigar. Yeah, but... uh, that's a buff tip, I think, but it looks small. Yeah. It's it's actually, no, it, it's too small to be a buff tip. Okay. As I say, it looks like a kind of broken, another cinnabar. A broken, a broken twig. It does look like a broken twig. Oh, there, yeah, it does exactly look like a broken twig. And then there's something inside. There's something else inside. Uh-oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's the, the cock chopper. We'll Inca, we'll leave it. give you your freedom as well, will we? Yeah, give them. So. Beautiful. Oh, I think this is another the heart and dart as well. I'm seeing. I'm beginning to remember what they're called. It's and it's there's a whole. It's group, an old one. There's a it? well. I don't know. There's a whole group of moths that are kind of nondescript and look like that. I'll take a photograph. My chances of identifying that to species level. And there's more uh, underneath. Yeah, I think. Are fairly slim. Big. A who? Dark arches. A dark arches. Yeah, it's a fine big moth. It is a big moth. It's got this these dark st streaks up near the head. They're quite distinctive. The garden tiger is that beautiful one. That big one. Okay, we'll take that for a record for. He's gorgeous. Yeah, he's a stunner. And this thing is a flame shoulder, I think. A small one. And if there's anyone watching your social media feed and the identifications are wrong, we know that. We'll check that out <laughs> Where later. Where everything's being double checked. <laughs> we'll check that later. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, that's a small little micro moth. A I, micro we moth. ignore we have those. Low, but we have loads of those. So yeah. you ignore the micro Well, ones. I do. Life is too short. <laughs> <laughs> there's too many varieties. Who's that? Haven't a clue. Okay. And that's not the name of it. It's just no. that I actually don't know what it is. Oh, there's a big, um, there's a big one. Is that that one again? The the dark arches. The dark it arches. Could, yeah, it could be. And you a can heart see and the, dart. You can see the shape. So, the I'm that's not... a heart and dart, and that's a dark arches potentially. Potentially, everything is potentially. Yes, everything is potentially. Well, you're more expert than me, well, so. Well, I'm not an expert at all, but the good thing anyway is we have modern technology. We've got mobile phones and books Okay, there's nothing on that there's one. nothing on that. We have a fairly cool catch. As, it is, but it's expected. cold. It was, we were expecting a port compared to the yeah. last time. Oh, yeah. look, here's something. Yeah, that's, I think you, you could be that, right. I think that might be the spectacle because they have their, their eyeglasses yeah. peeking up over their heads. Oh, and then there's something in there. Yeah, that's one of those difficult ones. Where are we going to? It's right there. Yeah, okay, yeah you got it on your phone. Are they anything to, underneath? No, nothing there. I think that's a heart and another heart and dart. I Loads think. of heart and darts. Yeah. So I take, what I'll do is I take a photograph of every individual and then we can tot up Who's, a number of individuals yeah. by well we might have to do another one of these when it's warmer yeah it's been very very poor very cold very and cold. wet no and this is uh this is a wayne scott oh it's pretty pale color. there's a few different species that we'll have to check this is the one we're looking at here yeah, yeah. There's another micro moth. Uh, nothing. Gosh, it's it's a poor, it's a very it's a poor, poor catch. catch. There's nothing on that. No. No. And here, here's another one of them spectacle moths. Um, or no, that, that no, could be something different. else. That's, that's got a it's got a mane of fluff behind its ears. You see, it's got that marking, the kind of heart and dart as well, but it's very dark. So I don't know if that's a different species or not. We'll have to investigate. Here's the sun. 
The sun has no just graced us. Yeah, very poor. We're going to have to do this again. Nothing on there. Nothing. Oh, there is one. I think this is a rosy minor, but again, I'm not sure. A rosy minor? I could be wrong on that. No. Let me oh, see. It's a different one again. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, there's something. Yeah. Or is that a micro mall? Micro as well. So no big dramatic ones. Well, the, gar the garden tiger. Yeah, well, is, the garden tiger is the nicest. But none of the hawk moths. No. But they are um, nothing there. They should be. They should be flying now. They should be, but it's so cold. Yeah. There's a micro mall. Nothing. No. Okay, and then we have. We have a few people on the bottom. Yeah, it's always good to check. There's, I must get new egg cartons. Oh, look, there's i uh, I've got plenty of egg cartons. You can have yeah. some of mine. There's one. I can't see who it is deep down in there. Right. That's another. Uh... Oh, look, there's a beautiful ermine moth right there. Swift. A common swift. Moth, yeah. Okay, we'll give that And then this one here, isn't this an ermine one, this white one with polka dots? Yes, it's an ermine moth, okay. Do you want to photograph that one? No, uh, yeah, I should do, sorry. Of course, keep me on my toes. Okay, and then this one is a bit west. That's damaged. If it's not dead, it's, it's damaged. No idea what that is. Okay, so that's well, good for you, but very few. Yeah, no, that's for this time of year. That's a very poor catch. Um, but I think, I mean, we have had such wet, cold weather that it's not yeah, surprising. Everything is, everything is uh, has been delayed. Um, yeah. Like it's a beautiful morning, but how many, what degrees is it? 12, 13 degrees or something? I'm in a right? scarf. It could even be less than that. I think it's, yeah, no, I yeah. think it's less than that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take these. We're just going to put these back into the grass. And yeah. Then, species That's i think that was a dozen last time we had over 40. Yeah, it's, it's very lucky for this time of year. but it's this time of, i think it's just so cold and wet or has been even though it is absolutely beautiful right now beautiful morning but uh it's cold and moths don't like the cold neither do small dogs you're feeling chilly look at her shivering it's that cold. The dogs are shivering. So that's the tiger moth with its wings opened. Yeah, the garden it's absolutely tiger. absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the red head on it as well. Yeah, they're beautiful moths. They are gorgeous. So putting it in deep cover so a bird doesn't find it. My garden has plenty of deep cover. <laughs> okay, so... That's the spectacle, and they even show you the head-on view. Oh, of those, which is what I was seeing, so yeah. I was right. Yes. Yay! <laughs> There's so many moths. I mean, this is a full book of moths. Yeah, well, there's 1,500 different species of moths in, in, in Ireland, so... Um, so yeah. we got a good view. We well, we have a lot, and once you get into these oh, carpets God. and pugs, They're it gets so quite it gets quite challenging. Very um, complicated. And these the car one of the carpets we were looking at. Um, I have to check out which one it was. I was on the 
on the outside of the trap. Of the trap, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful with the pink yeah, trim. That's a blood vein. Well, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, they're beautiful. There's a fantastic diversity. Oh, These are wow. all, the, all the emeralds. It's all, and it's only if you put up a trap that you get some sense you can of uh, see what's some there. Of them. Yeah, they're very distinctive. They're very variable. They've got all different shapes. Uh, oak, agar, some of these. You'll you'll definitely have these around here. And then these these are the the clear wings. The clear wing moths. Yeah. I didn't know there were clear wing moths. Interesting. Those yeah. to me, those would look like kind of hoverfly types yeah. or something yeah. or wasps. And there's there's, <gasps> there's the burnets, the burnets the day, which I have the daytime the day moth. flying one, and there's forester. We were down in Clare two weeks ago. We saw lots of those. those. Yeah. So, and then if you want to really torment yourself, there's the micro moths. Oh no! I think that one. Uh, which are are. Oh, that's sheer torture. Yes, and it's kind of impossible in the plume moths and stuff. Oh, there's uh, yeah. we get some of those. The double-winged ones are gorgeous. Yeah, they're, they're plume moths, but they're hard to separate the individual. Oh, this is the one that I've seen. This one actually landed yeah. on my eyelashes one day, and I took a uh, selfie. It's, it's quite, it's quite large. So yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, so there's uh, there's plenty of rabbit holes to go down if you wish. To do moths. Of, yeah. Species so of that was a disappointing. Oh, cold no, weather it's just, it's just what we got uh, it is it's it's the time of year when it's cool like this there's not that much there's light. not much activity yeah well we'll have to do another one yeah hopefully in autumn or in august rather when it's a bit of a dammy night would be very good well let's do that then yeah let's make a date a moth trapping <laughs> date we'll do it in august <laughs>